a digit, the schedule was busy, my head in a hoodie, my shorty a goodie, my cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie, life is amazing, it is what it should be, been here for 10 but I feel like a rookie, I tell her look up cause it's snowing in tussies. What's good YouTube, it's your girl Cameron, I'm back with another video, so I know it's been a hot minute, but um, lately I've been transitioning, so I put on going natural, um, it's been, what month is it, March? It's been nine months. Well, this month is making nine months. So I'm excited, y'all. I'm so, so excited. So if y'all have me on Snapchat, if y'all don't have me on Snapchat, it'll be down below. But um, yeah, so y'all need to add me on Snapchat because I do like kind of updates on my hair. So this is, y'all probably wonder why I had this curl out. But so <laughs> I was in my dorm and like I just woke up and like this curl, it was like curly, but it wasn't like, I'll post like, I'll put it up here. But it was like curly, but you can't really tell my actual curl pattern because it still had my perm hair on it. So I cut it. <laughs> I cut it because I wanted to see what it looked like. And this is it. So it's really long, actually. Like it's actually like a little bit like under my chin. So I'm actually like very excited. I'm so excited. And then the other day I found this one. This one right here. But look how tight my curls are, though. You see how tight it is? All right, so I'm so I'm actually very excited. So um, I was just giving out a day on that. It's been nine months. Um, I think the plan is to cut it next month, like the beginning of April. But we'll see how that goes. I'm cutting it with a friend, so yeah. <laughs> um, I plan on recording that, but we'll see how that goes, or at least getting some pieces of it. Um, so yeah, I plan on cutting my hair then. I'm excited, yo. Like I'm so excited. When I first was talking about like, because I've tried to transition before. Um, last year I did from June to December and then I went back to Birmingham again. So this time I made it through December, I was like, all right, camera, on, keep on going, keep on going. So yeah, but I wanted to transition because my hair, as most of you already know, is already pretty long. So I'm not used to having my hair like short. So I was like, I'm gonna transition, maybe make it a little longer. So the plan originally was two years, but now I'm just like, yo, as you keep on trying to do your hair, like my hair just looks a mess because like you're trying to do two different textures. So the, like the roots of my hair is like natural. So it's like really curly, it wants a lot of water, but the ends are super like frail and fragile for why I used to get it perfect all the time. So I just got done walking. How it is not a big fan of water, so. Yeah, it's like totally different. So I'm just ready to cut it, honestly. All right, so I'm actually um back home. So I don't have the same shampoo and stuff that I have in Gainesville. But um the shampoo and stuff that we have here is the Main & Tail. Main & Tail shampoo and body. We also use conditioner. As you can see, we have big bottles because we use a lot of shampoo and conditioner. Especially conditioner, that's why it's barely in there. But y'all, this is my new my new um deep conditioner so it's a deep treatment mask by shea moisture and it's the c cup and argan i don't know if they have different ones Anyways, um the plan is to show you guys my washing routine and stuff we're gonna see how this goes i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited um there's probably gonna be a part two from where because usually i like do my hair afterwards and then i'll show you what it looks like in the morning but Yeah, that's the plan. So let's get it. Let's go. All right, hi guys. So now I'm actually taking my hair down. Don't mind my hair; it looks mess. It hasn't been wet. It's been in this nasty bun for a minute. So I'm gonna take it down, wetting it a little bit, get it moisturized, and ready to put the conditioner in it. Alright, so now I'm using the Main & Tail Shampoo. That's a conditioner earlier, my bad. So now I'm using the Main & Tail Shampoo. And I actually use a lot, as I said previously. I don't know why I'm making that face. Um, <laughs> but I use a lot of the shampoo and conditioner, which you will see in a second when I squirt it out. Yeah, that's about right. And, yep. 
and we're going to put it into our hair. So actually when I put in my hair, I don't do like one big glob. I try to put it in different places because I usually tend to miss spots. So I try to make sure it's all over my head. Right now, I'm actually currently wishing that I had went to a hair shop. Because <laughs> you know when you ever get your hair um, washed at a hair salon and you scratch your head? Oh my goodness, it feels so great. Like, uh, that's the only thing I miss about getting my hair done is the wash time. That's it. Alright, now I'm going to rinse out shampoo. Yes, this is my first voiceover, so mm -hmm. we're gonna see how this goes. I'm actually pretty interested in how this is gonna go. Alright, now I'm going in with the main and conditioner. I was actually very much confused. <laughs> I thought they were gonna be the same color, <laughs> that's why I made that face. <laughs> I was like, hmm, okay. <laughs> Alright, now I'll do the same thing and make sure that's applied in different parts of my hair. Oh, <laughs> so at that part, I actually dropped my deep conditioner and a bunch of it fell out. That's why I looked like that. So I had to like pick it up because the conditioner was very expensive and it's actually very great conditioner. So that's what happened right now. So now I am putting the new conditioner in there and you have to make sure you put enough in there so you get enough slip. Obviously, I did not put enough in there. As you see, I'm struggling to brush through it. So you need to put a lot of conditioner on there so you have enough slip so it can go through there pretty easily. Also, this is my first time trying to detangle with this brush. So this was very interesting. And I also was not taking my time, as you guys can see. So... So right here I was trying to show you guys how you can see the difference between my natural hair and my permed hair. Which I'll show you some more times throughout the video as I add different products and things.
As you can see, there's a pretty good amount of hair coming out. That's just because I had um, braids in my hair right before I did this video. So that's part of it. Alright, and as you guys can see, I got tired of using the brush. <laughs> the comb is a better detangler, by far for me anyway. And plus, the, um, the brush has very short bristles. Bristles is the word. <laughs> they have very short bristles, so it doesn't go all the way through my hair. It doesn't detangle off my hair, just like the singles to the top. So the comb is better for me to detangle. Or I was actually thinking, once I go fully natural, to try the Denman brush. Which has longer bristles, but it's kind of the same concept. Comment down below and tell me what you guys think about the Denman brush. What different types of hair should use the Denman brush. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't actually taken the time to figure out my curl pattern and my um, hair density and all those things yet. So as I, I'll probably do another video on all those things. And we'll figure that out together. I'm trying to show you guys where I would cut it. I'll cut it right there. It's called the line of demarcation, the difference between my permed hair, which is really stringy at the bottom, and my natural hair, which is kind of crinkier at the top. And I'm going to rinse out the conditioner that I just put in there. My facial reactions, like my facial expressions throughout. Girl, I just said facial reactions. My facial expressions throughout this video have me like dying. I look mad throughout some of them, just straight confused. What is that? What What is that? This is the part that has conditioner. Versus a part that doesn't. Well, I guess it has a little bit, but you can tell the difference and how defined that these are. And then these are kind of just, it's like a big difference. Conditioner, no conditioner. These look like, y'all, yeah, I'm so excited, bruh. I'm so excited. I didn't even need water. That part, I just got cold. But yes, I love how I'm so excited for these curls. Alright, y'all remember what the curl looked like before? This is it, like separated. And with the conditioner. Still long. Oh. Boy, if you don't get. But yeah, but how I made it so tight earlier, I like took it <laughs> and like twisted it. So now if I take all three of these and twist it around my finger, it's probably not the best idea because it's kind of wet and fragile. But I took it. I kept on doing like that until it got into a spiral. Y'all, I'm really just ready to just through it because you're supposed to section it but i'm really just like kind of ready to get this over with it takes a lot to wash my hair especially considering how thick my hair is on the inside now my natural hair feels like straw like it feels like very unmoisturized which is not because i put like tons and tons of water on it but it feels like it is because it's not a big fan of water but my natural hair on the other hand feels great like it is 
absolutely loving the moisture absolutely loving this conditioner for real though like imagine if it was already cut and all of it looked like that piece over there the piece on this side yo i'm just ready to see it honestly like i'm excited i just really just want to cut my hair so my stepdad doesn't know i'm cutting my hair yet so because I did not tell him. I accidentally almost told him. So I'm trying to get my mom to like, learn how to trim my hair because I don't know how to trim my hair and I won't be able to see the back of my head. So I've been trying to get her to learn how to trim my hair. So I go, so I just said out loud, I was like, dang, I wish my mom knew how to cut my hair. And he was like, no, she, um, you're not getting your hair cut. Da, da, da. And I was like, little does he know he has like a month until this is gonna be gone. It's gonna be really short because see it's long i think it's pretty long right it looks pretty long right now but once it like cut it's gonna be like really really short like you can tell i already know it's gonna be short because my curls are gonna be really tight i can tell because look these are let me show you how long these are not this because this is so these pieces go all the way down here right but when you let go it's all up here so but you also gotta realize that this is like this side of my hair i'm excited but i'm kind of nervous i'm hoping that i'm out of the like the awkward phase when i cut it because if not it's gonna be really awkward that's why i was trying to avoid and watch this out i'm going to twist it So, just based off of that back braid, I know this isn't going to be a good twist out, so I'm actually going to end the video here and finish the braid, but I know it's not going to end up good, so I'm not going to do a part two. But yeah, so this video was kind of fun once I have more time and actually feel like doing my hair, I'm going to do a part two. Where I actually like style it and do it. I probably can't even do it, but I'm gonna do a part two where I do all that fun stuff. So, yeah.
and fill it in. I'll see you guys next time. And thank you for joining. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Yeah. That's so much you me. Anyways, let's get this class. See y'all later. Yeah. Weezy out of here. The dash is digi, the schedule busy, my head in a hoodie, my shorty a goodie, my cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie, life is amazing, it is what it should be, been here for 10 but I feel like a rookie, I tell her look up cause it's snowing.